Hello everybody, and welcome back to another short bit segment from IG Apps. Today I'll be covering how to programmatically set the color for UI element, or view, to Java in three different ways, because this is useful if you want to change the color after a certain event happens, which can only be detected through Java. In the second video I created of the IG Apps channel called Text View and Button Basics, I briefly covered only one method of changing the color programmatically, but today I'll do, I will discuss more methods. So let's get started. So you don't need to create a new application to test this out. You simply need to have at least one view in your app. And as you can see, I have two, a text view and a button view. And I'm going to be changing the color of this button, which is referred to by the object called BTN. And now what I'm going to say is, I'm going to show you one method doing it. And I'm going to say BTN. Actually, let me say method one. Method one. And then I'm going to say BTN dot set background color and I'm going to say color dot parse color and then what I can do here is provide a hexadecimal code within the color dot parse color and then it'll set the uh, button to that color so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google Chrome and type in color picker and you can see here we can just choose some colors that we want so I'm going to go for um, probably a light blue over here and I can just come copy this code over here that they provided and then I'm going to head back over to Android Studio and paste that within there. And don't forget the pound symbol to show that it's in, uh, that's a hexadecimal code. And that's method one for setting the color. Now I'm going to show you another method. So over here, method two. And then what I'm going to say is btn.setBackgroundColor once again, because we're setting the background color. But now what I'm going to do is something different inside here. I'm going to say context context.compat.getColor. And then if you do control P, or actually it just shows us the parameters required. But if you were to do control P, it shows you the uh, parameters that the function needs. So you can see here, it's, it needs the context of our application. So I'm gonna say get application context, comma. And then um, through the second method, basically what we're going to do is provide a color from colors.xml. So let me write that over here, method color, uh, color from colors.xml. And then here from color from and now let's go over to our colors.xml and take the same color with us and create a new color. So we're going to head on over to colors.xml, which I have open, or you can find on the left side. And then I'm going to say uh, color name equals light blue. And then I'm going to put the pound symbol and the code I have. And you can see here that the symbol has appeared. Then I'm going to head back over to mainactivity.java. And then I'm going to come back to the context or compat dot context compat dot get color function, and then I'm going to say r dot color. So remember the r stands for resources. Dot color dot light blue. And there you can see it's turned purple because it's able to recognize that. And that's method two for setting the color. Now I'm going to show you method three for setting the color. So method three. And what this uses is a um, hexadecimal representation of an integer. So I'm going to say hex representation of an integer. And this is what it looks like. So we obviously are going to have btn.setBackgroundColor. And then I'm going to say 0xff. And this is to show that's in hexadecimal. And I'm going to copy and paste our code. Okay. And it will probably be best to make this capitalized. I don't know if it matters, but just in case. And that's the third way that we can set our color. So now that uh, now we've just covered three different ways to set the color of our view, specifically the button. You should note that for uh, method two over here, it may not work on a uh, devices with an API of less than 23. Therefore, what you should do in case you are testing this on a device with an API lower than 23, uh, what you should do is btn.set background color, and it should say get get resources dot get color, and then you should provide the uh, color dot xml um, color dot color light blue. So this is what you should do if uh, your API level is lower than 23. Otherwise, this should work for the device that you're testing it on. Now I'm going to show you that this works by running it on my device over here, my phone. And then I'll show you what the result looks like. And here you can see that we have a light blue button in our app just as we'd wanted. So that's all for this video and thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the IJ Apps channel, and share this with friends. If you have any suggestions or requests for short topics that you'd like me to cover in future short bit segments, you can reach me through the comment section of this video or at ijapps101 at gmail.com. Until then, happy developing from IJ Apps.